Hello and welcome to the homestead. Hi guys. Well, it is prep for freezing cold temperatures day. I know, we're supposed to get three to five inches of snow on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I'm and- not looking forward to that. No, and tomorrow we're getting uh, close to an inch of rain. Mm -hmm. Temperature is gonna be okay, but that night it drops down to the single digits. Yes. And it stays in the single digits for the next four to five days at night. Yeah. And it doesn't come above freezing during the day. No, all next week is going to be so cold. Yeah, so we have to prep the homestead for this winter blast that's mm -hmm. coming in. And while it's not necessary for the cold, I don't want this project hanging over our heads. No. So. As you can see, I jumped on the mill first thing this morning. I cut up the rest of the one buys that I need and we're gonna finish off this back section. And I might even come a little into this section depending on how many one buys I have mm -hmm. so that at least the back half is closed off on three sides and we can get our insulation in there. And pretty much even in the cold, I can come and do framing inside yeah and then we got other chores we have to do we gotta get the bunnies ready we gotta get the chickens ready yeah make sure that they have enough hay inside their coops and inside their shelter and then we're going to take down the gazebo so it doesn't collapse in the snow yeah and a whole bunch of other homestead projects to get this uh this area ready for bitter cold so yeah. come along with us You're not gonna believe it guys. We just got the boards on, went to check the camera, and the camera wasn't running. Sometimes when you hit it, it doesn't turn on. Yeah. So it's on, we just gotta get the batten on. So let's go get our batten and put it on. Sorry about that guys. I know if you didn't film it, it didn't happen, but it's there now. <laughs> Catching some rays. All right, guys. Next, we got to take care of this gazebo. Mm -hmm. So what we got to do is we got to get all of this. Which isn't that much. No. Over into there. And then we got to take the sides and the top off, fold them up and get them put away and get the rug closed up mm -hmm. so that winter weather will not affect this at all. Yeah, I just don't want it to cave in because I know if we're getting three to five inches of snow, then there's a potential that this could cave because yeah, it's with, not very structurally sound. No, and it'll be up there for a while because it's not going to yeah. warm up and melt anytime soon. No, it's going to be really cold. All right, guys, let's get on this job.
right, that wasn't too bad. No, that was easy. Yeah, that's not too bad, and that'll be fine. The ladder put away. All right, next up, livestock. Yep. Look at that tie in. All right, so I'm just gonna take a flake of straw here and kind of spread it out on the bottom of their chicken coop. Um, because it's ventilated, it's just got uh, wire mesh in there and it'll provide a little bit of insulation, but as they poop over the next three, four days, it will cause this to break down and it will give them a little bit of heat as well. And I'll give them something to scratch. I know they won't come out that much in, in the snow. What right. we got for eggs? Two eggs. Chickens are not happy today. All right, I think we should clean out their nest boxes too. Yeah. All right. about as good as it's gonna get they should be fine like this I mean there's 23 birds in this little coop so they'll they'll create enough body heat but we're gonna give them some food too so they can fill up on calories All right, let's see how these bunnies are doing. Mama Bunny's okay. She's hey, got plenty girl. of hay. We'll throw some straw in there for her. Yeah, I think we should fill up our water bowl too. Well, she's got water there too, but yeah, we yeah, can. It's probably gonna freeze. All right, let's fill up her water bowl and get some straw. Hey, sweetie. A little something you can nest in if you want to. Yeah, she should be good. She's got plenty of food. Yeah, she'll be all right. All right. Let's go check the babies. Babies. I think it's going to be the same thing. A little bit of water and a little extra straw for them. Bill. 
and they'll fix it up any way they want it to be fixed up. Yeah, that's good. They'll, yeah. They'll be warm. They will be warm in there. They'll huddle together. Yeah, they like the corner. They do. Where the butt's up on the other side of Bill. And that leaves us with Bill. Hey, Bill. Bill's going to need a little bit of water. And he doesn't like much hay. He kicks all his hay and straw out. He doesn't seem to mm -hmm. like it. But he's got his shelter, so yeah, he, does. he should be fine. He's got it all cozy in there. Yes, he Just does. Just the way he likes it. All right, let's get him a little bit of water. Hi, Bill. Are you chilling? Well, hello guys. We are at the end of the freezing cold temperatures. Last night was the worst. It dropped down to minus 10 degrees, but it has already gone up to 14 degrees and it's only 20 past nine this morning. I'm here at the homestead. I've got a jug of water. We're gonna check on all the animals make sure they're all watered up and good to go so hopefully all our precautions have worked out
chickens are accounted for. What do we got? Three, five, seven, nine, nine, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Where is Albert? Where is Albert? Albert's underneath. 23. Albert's underneath. All chickens are accounted for. All right, guys, looks like all our precautions have paid off. All the bunnies are accounted for, and all the chickens are accounted for. Let me show you them. They've come out to get some fresh water, a little something to eat. I will leave their coop open like this because I'm going to do some work on the farm stand today. But we have survived the winter blast. Thank goodness. All right, guys, until the next one, we'll see you later. Bye.